Hello everybody and welcome to the how to play videos of the GMS Magazine YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play a really simple game that's absolutely perfect for families and people who are not familiar with tile placement games. I'm going to show you how to play Wotan's game Camelot the Build. Welcome to the GMS Magazine how to play videos. Camel of the Bill is an incredibly simple game with just three rules that you can teach to absolutely anybody in just a matter of minutes and is good enough that it will keep everybody actually quite entertained. The premise is quite simple and very good fun. Mr. King Arthur has got Camelot ready finished and is looking for the best interior designers. Who are they? you are and you're going to help them create the best possible castle that you could ever imagine. The thing is you've been given some random bits that you can place around the castle here and there and depending where you put them they're going to look better or worse and you're going to score more or less points. On their round each player is going to have five of these little Tiles. This is how you start. You have to keep two of those on plain sight. The other three you can keep to yourself. Now you can place up to three tiles on the boards, very much the way that you can see them played in here. And depending on the number that the tiles have printed on them and where you put them, you are going to score more or less points. At the end of the game, the player with more points wins the game. And that's how it goes. So let me tell you though how the scoring system works. Because it's simple, but it has little tricky bits. And learning where to put these tiles is going to mean the difference between really winning or really losing. So remember we have five tiles which I'm going to uncover. And I'm going to explain that. Every round when you place a tile on the board, you collect as many points as the tile you place, in which case is one point, and any tile adjacent that was there before your turn. So any tiles that you play can only count once on this round. So in this instance, I would be getting one point printed and another point that's already two points. If I place another tile immediately beside, that would mean one more point, that's three. And if I play yet another tile, that would mean another point, that's four points. However, and this is where things become a little bit tricky and cool from the tactic and strategy point of view. Because I've placed three tiles in a row, the number of points that I get this round doubles. So I would be getting one, two, three, four, eight points. If you are crafty, you can get a lot of points in one single round. You can place also, instead of putting it in a row, you could play them in an L shape and it would have exactly the same effect of doubling the number of points. So in this case, I would be getting one, two, three, and four, seven. Multiplied by two, that's 14 points. That's a lot better than eight. And that can mean quite a difference. When all the tiles in the bag are over, they finish, there are no more tiles in here. The whole board should be completed and the last round, the points go backward. Yes, this is funny, because the last points that you score, they are subtracted from all the points that you have accumulated. So if you're waiting, if you are expecting that masterstroke at the very, very end of the game, well done. 
because you're just gonna hurt yourself. And that's it. This game is as simple as that. I played this game with a couple of friends who are not really into complex games, and the only two tile placement games I've played with them being Carcassonne and this one. They found Camel the Build much, much easier to understand than Carcassonne, mostly because there are less things to think about and the scoring is incredibly simple. So if you're looking for a family game that will last, I don't know, 40 minutes, perhaps 50 with five players, it's good enough fun, it's well produced, yeah, Camel of the Build definitely, definitely fit that description. If you have already tried this game, I'd love to hear what you have to say. So please do remember to subscribe down there, I think it is, and give to the little bell so you can get notifications when we upload new videos. And leave me your comments about this game. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I promise I will do my best to answer all the comments as soon as I possibly can. Give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. And of all, I look forward to talking to you very soon. Take care.